Hello, it's Doug Swafford, First American Title. Wanted to share with you a map application that I think you'll find very useful, and it's called Tapestry Segmentation, created by Isri. And what is tapestry segmentation? Tapestry segmentation represents the fourth generation of market segmentation systems that began 35 years ago. The 68 segment tapestry segmentation system classifies U.S. neighborhoods based on their social, economic, and demographic compositions. The power of tapestry segmentation allows you to profile consumers in a number of ways. So let's take a close look at that. So this represents the map of the tapestry segmentation. And here's the different types of socioeconomic groups and lifestyles. And let's go right into the application and show you what that looks like. So once you uh, click the link, this is the landing page. You're going to simply enter a zip code. And I'm going to go ahead and enter uh, Lake Oswego since I'm here in Lake Oswego. And give it a second. And here we go. It's going to paint the horizon here. So here we are in 97034. And real quick, uh, we're showing tapestry right here. We can also look at income, age, and population. 30% uh, are urbanites. If you click on this, it's going to give you that definition of urbanites. 24% uh, top tier. And also the definition of the top tier. And then you're going to have urban chic, about 17%. Uh, and that gives you uh, great information as well for that community. Um, income, you click on income, it breaks down the income. And you can notice that the uh, Lake Oswego uh, 034 has a medium of about 104K. Uh, the county is about 63K. The state, 47. U.S. is about 51K. Okay. And then if you hit age, it also breaks down the age. And here in Lake Oswego, about 49.4. Uh, the county is about 41, states 38, U.S. is about 37. Age is pretty interesting because maybe you want to target uh, millennials, maybe you want to target different types of age groups. Let's zoom out and take a look at what that looks like here if you look at the different zip codes in the Tri-County. So if you get more to southeast Portland, you're going to have pockets of zip codes where the average age is 31, 34, 34, 32, 33, and again, you can definitely look at the different um, demographics on this that really uh, help you make a decision on what the market and who to go after. Population of density, this is also breaks down the different zip codes as well. Uh, any report that you click on, if you want to share that, uh, you could share it via Facebook, uh, you can tweet it, LinkedIn, you can email the link, and it will email the report that you're Actually, whatever zip code you're on, it's going to email that to whomever. Okay. Uh, real quick, this information is actually updated annually. Um, they do look at the U.S. Census tract, but they also make projections. Uh, ISRI uh, collects data from many resources, government, non-government, and third-party entities to come up with a very educated um, information for you. And again, this is Doug Swafford, First American Title. I hope this is useful. If you have any questions, I can be reached at 503-545-9383. Thank you very much.